Welcome back guys. So today we have another project. Oh yeah. We're gonna be making a home for our babies. Just wait, just, just wait. wait. We're gonna show you, <laughs> hold on. All right, we grew all of these things from scratch. All right, let's go over it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on this side and kind of go over it. So here we have some tomatoes, tomatoes. This middle one I know looks very similar, but it is bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper, because they do taste good. Um, Let's see what this one is. This is uh, some cilantro. And then we have, you can actually look, if you look up close, you can actually tell this one's cilantro. It's starting to come in. And then we have some spinach here. Um, most people don't know really what spinach leaves look like. It kind of droopy right now, but th if you look down here, this is going to be the actual spinach leaves. This is spinach as well. You can actually see the spinach leaf kind of coming in on this one. Not as thick. Here. Come on. <laughs> we have some cantaloupe, so hopefully we get some good cantaloupe, some good fruit. Um, we have a single sunflower here. We also have some more sunflowers here. And then our big sunflowers we got over there. They're, they're growing good. And I'm pretty excited because that is my favorite flower, guys. Yep, and it's going to produce some ballin' sunflower seeds that I'm going to bake and salt up when they're ready. Believe it or not, guys, I don't remember which one it is, but one of these is going to be huge pumpkins. I think we labeled it BP. I can see if I can't find it. This guy's not labeled. This is a pumpkin right here, this whole sheet, but there's no nothing growing. Yeah, yet. you can't really tell. I mean, they'll be coming in soon. But our goal is to grow pumpkins so we can carve our own homemade pumpkins for I Halloween. Say, I don't know what these are. They almost look like cucumbers. A Just, lot of little buds, though. Yeah, coming up. they're coming up. This might be a pumpkin right here. He's coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are BP, big pumpkins. Yeah, there you go. He's coming in. So this is going to be the 200-pound pumpkin. That's crazy, guys. This is how it starts. <laughs> All right, so explain what you're doing here. So we're going to measure these to make sure... Because these are going to be the sides, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to measure these because these are going to be like our... Studs. Our studs. So like kind of yeah. like the border, right? Yeah, well, it's going to be what supports the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. So you have to make sure that they're the correct width. Yeah, exactly. So she's going to go ahead and mark all these down because we're probably going to make four or five of these planter boxes. <laughs> So that's our first base. That's our first base. I think that was a pretty straight cut. Mm -hmm. There. It is a little bit off, but I think it'll do. Looks pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just planting some plants, making them healthy. But, you know, that's the main goal here. When you cut, you're going to go with the black line. There's two different ways you could do it. Use this as your guide. Uh -huh. So you kind of like put pressure on this and then you can put the blade towards the tip and just like and you see how i'm barely pushing on the trigger and it goes slow uh -huh. or i could be like you know so just take it slow barely push on the trigger and then glide in and if you want to go that that slow through the whole thing go that slow through the whole thing okay uh -huh. i strapped it down for you so you don't really have to worry too much about it so this has to be flat Thing? No, you just want to keep it on there, yeah, and then just very easily. Even start away from it first, so it actually starts moving before you go into it. There you go. Yep. There you go, now just follow the black line. For your very first time, show them. Show them. Show them. This is our first time ever using this power. I mean, tool. it's a little crooked, guys. It, it's a yeah. It's kind of a lot, but 
Uh. <laughs> a dirt. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of like, if you want to show them that, <laughs> where the black line is. But I just let it happen because it's their first time, you know, you can only, I mean, you can only learn. That's really not bad for a first time ever. It's, um, it could be better. <laughs> I didn't realize how much power it took. Like, it was starting to, like, hurt my hand. Yeah. But now, guys, I can at least say that I tried. And if he wants to do the rest, it's good by me. <laughs> we have officially cut enough 4x4 four four for one planter box. Planter box. Um, I was doing a little bit of thinking, and I have some extra 2x4s. So I think I'm going to add a support to the middle, but I'll show you guys when we get to there. But essentially, these are our side pieces. We found them pretty cheap at Home Depot for like, what, four bucks each? Mm -hmm. Pretty cheap. They're the cheapest. I think they're fence boards, but we don't need anything fancy. We're just making planter boxes, you know? Um, I forgot how long this is, but I, I'm gonna, we're essentially going to be using two of these. won't even cut them. Those are going to be the length. And then for the third one, all I'm going to be doing is cutting it exactly in half. I'm going to go ahead and measure this, cut it right in half. So it's super simple to the point. Um, so it's like long and then the sides and then long. Yeah, so it's going to be like a rectangle when it's mm -hmm. done. And then I'll probably add a two by four in the center at the bottom. You won't even see it because it's going to cover it dirt, but it's going to help hold the planter box a little bit better. How long is that? Five foot exactly. Five foot. And what's half of five? Three point five. 2.5. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are called squares, but they're triangles. I actually came up with the theory for that. Because a right angle is a square. Mm -hmm. And this helps you, if you look, guys. Right angle. Yeah, it makes things square. Yep. All right. <laughs> come up with a theory like it already has been figured out or something. Well, you weren't sure, so I was just coming to the rescue. All right, guys, so that's that. Pretty simple stuff here, making planter boxes. I mean, I'm no carpenter. I took wood shop in this high school. <laughs> Actually, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now what we're gonna do is remove these because these are already done. Okay, Got the saw. perfect on that one it really is huh they're the exact mm -hmm. same size yep see all right guys so now we form it so this guy right here is gonna go right here this guy right here he's gonna go right here of course all the way at the edge butted like this that's gonna be one little section of it so so what a lot of people don't realize in terms of woodworking is I'll draw this line because this thickness is this width. So if I were to take this and put it all the way on the edge there, it's not, it's going to leave like this weird little gap right here in the corner if I add a piece. But if I bring it in, it'll square it off. Always pre-drill your holes too. Um, just to avoid any cracking of the wood. Hold that there for me. Hold. Because like, let's say I were to create this. squares it off perfectly it fits perfectly but if you didn't it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense because this would have to be like in the center yeah, because, and it, just, it wouldn't be good yeah here i'll show you look so if you're gonna put it here i'm gonna put this here it's like this weird little triangle here or square it looks so off yeah but that that will look better it looks perfectly like yeah. it, it fits like like flush like this rather than like this exactly Get that done, dude. We got a pro woodworker here. Just line up the stars. 
Line up, uh, yeah, line up the star. And you remember, you gotta put pressure. You gotta push hard. <laughs> you stripping the bolt out? <laughs> oh you got it. Pressure. Put you, a lot. Push hard. Ooh. Oh. You want me to finish it? You want to keep trying? Probably before I ruin it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I showed you how to make one of these frames. I went ahead and just made the other one, which is right there if you can grab that for me. Thank you. I figured you guys don't need to see it twice, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will help you out. I'll help you build these. All right, so next step. Actually, I'm gonna leave this off for now. I'll just leave this right up here. Cause we're gonna attach the long side, so. Like I said, I didn't even cut this. I bought this as is. It's five feet long. I went ahead and cut for the sides there, and right in half, two and a half feet. And then I went over how this right here is three fourths inch thick. So I went ahead and measured three fourths inch in from each end before I attached these. Following that. Yes, and this just <laughs> slides right into the gap. That exactly. We left. So I actually need to go a little bit closer. This so we have some more over here. I'm gonna have you actually come on this other side behind me. I'm just gonna have you hold it there for me. Right. Yeah. Did here. Different ways to go about it, but that's why I created that gap so it creates this kind of flush looking edge. This one. Not so good, but better than it would have been. Now we just need to do this one end. Yeah, we're set to jet. Because it's going to be open in the bottom, right? So we can come straight from the ground. Yeah, except I think I'm going to add a 2 by 4 from here to here in the center. Uh -huh. Just to add a little bit more support. Um, I'll show you guys the finished product, of course. And we'll leave that out. This should just pretty much plug right in. As long as you measure right, guys, it literally plugs in after you get this far in. Like, we know what to do now. Does the beat take you over? You just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Here's our finished product of so, the planner box. Picture this. Saw horses out here. This is on the dirt. You cover this up. It's called a raised plant bed. So then the flowers will end up coming through the dirt this way, right? Well, we're going to fill this to about here. So this is actually going to hold dirt in it. It's going to be raised. But it's going to be on the ground. So. so it's just all soil. We're just basically segregating where there's a little bit more soil inside of the planter box. But if the roots are longer, they would still technically go in the ground for beyond. You know, mm -hmm. it still gives them the freedom right. and the drainage capacity. So we don't have to worry about any drainage in this because the whole bottom's open. We're just basically containing it and lifting a planting bed. We have a couple more to build, so we'll catch back up with you when it's time to plant them all. In their little homes, make them happy little guys or yes. girls, whatever they They turned out so good. They literally <laughs> look legitimate, huh? Yeah, they look pretty good. Like, I definitely could have bought these at the store. I think I did all right. I think we did all right. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh-huh. Think you found yourself a new side job. Right. Making gardening supplies. Daniel's doing most of the talking is because this is literally his pride and joy like gardening is his life like <laughs> so I'm just letting him take charge of the show because he knows literally everything it is kinda to like know about gardening yeah. kind of like in the challenges 
she does most of the talking because I have no idea what I'm doing. I stay on that YouTube stuff. I know all about the challenges. As for gardening, mm, not so much. <laughs>